is, the thing about Bitcoin is its prices have been so volatile. I mean, you know, uh, the kind of highs that we saw last year, and we've seen them come off those highs this year. So for a lot of people in the audience, they're wondering, you know, Bitcoin is not a fraud, but is it a bubble? How will you convince the audience that there is, that, it, that Bitcoin is not a bubble and that there is substance to what's going on there? Well, Bitcoin may well be a bubble, um, but overall, the idea of these digital assets that people can purchase, there'll be bubbles, but overall, this is going to go up and up and up and up. And there are many different types of these digital assets, okay? They're, they're called, they're basically, rep, any digital asset can be represented by a token. So what Bitcoin represents is a piece of currency. But a currency is just one of seven types of digital assets that we like to talk about. Um, an another one could be an actual security. You know, the recent ICO uh, for a company called Telegram raised $800 million. This is not venture capital. This is like real money. We're talking about investment banking now. And what people were doing is they were investing and taking an interest in this company. There was no stock market. There was no investment bank. And there was no share. Nobody got a share from the company. They got a token that represented an interest in the company. So this is like a really big deal. So those are two. There are all kinds of others. I'm involved in something called CarbonX. We want to turn every carbon credit into a token so that when you go to the, uh, to the store and buy a washer dryer, you'll buy the, the green washer dryer, the one that's carbon neutral, because it comes with a whole bunch of tokens. And you can take those tokens, and they're like loyalty points, but they're also like money. You can trade them, exchange them, and turn them into rupees or dollars if you want to. So there are all kinds of other tokens that exist. A company called Sweetbridge, that if you have a big supply chain, you issue tokens against that. They're pegged to a fiat currency, like the rupee or the pound or the euro. And then you can borrow money from yourself to develop your supply chain, pay your suppliers fast, and so on. Right. So you know where I'm going with this. I mean, don't be confused by Bitcoin. Bitcoin is, you know, it's an asset. It'll go up and down in value, and I never advise people on whether or not to buy these things. If you're a speculator, go for it. Um, more important, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency that's not controlled by a nation state, and there are some good uses of that if you're in a country with restricted capital flows. But the real opportunity here is none of that. It's this underlying blockchain technology that enables us to digitize assets, to transact them, to manage them, to keep them secure. And just about anything can be turned into a digital asset.